after Mr. Bear will tell you a story about one of us. by eating harmful insects. Well, here she comes now. Let's hear what she has to say. You question her, Chip. Right. <clears throat> um, where have you been up till now? Insect hunting over the rice fields. There. She's as good as admitted it. I'll buy the rice fields part, but believe you me, what she was hunting was not insects. Oh, no. She was looking for fat, succulent grains of rice. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, why have you been away so long this morning? Uh, yes, why were you down there while the rest of us were sleeping? Well, because I... See? Can't huh? even answer a simple question. Pretty suspicious. <laughs> Just a minute. I am not entirely convinced about the robin's guilt. Let's take a look around the fields. We may find a clue. Okay, fine by me. Come on, all of you, let's go. Tell you.
ship is really great at catching insects. What speed? Shave, she almost saw me. It's such a pain pretending to be an insect eating bird, but it's necessary. It's the only way I can have the run of these beautiful rice fields. <laughs> if those stupid birds knew that I find worms and bugs so disgusting, they'd have a fit. And luckily, they make it easy. It's no problem fooling them the heads like them. <laughs> Otherwise, goodbye, Rice Fest. I'll prepare a trap. Hmm. That's it. I got it. Terrible loss. It's obvious what happened here. He caught the thief red handed and got beat up. By the way, where is Robin? Exactly what I was wondering. Where is the Robin? Whenever any trouble happens, she's never with the rest of us. She's always off by herself alone. She's the guilty party. Whose feather is this? It's your feather, isn't it? Confess. No, it isn't. It could right. be anyone's. All right. Let's hear it. Where have you been till now? Down at the rice fields. Did you all get that? This is the second time she's admitted to being down at the rice field when something disastrous has happened. 
The Guardian caught you stealing and you assaulted the poor guy. What? That's a filthy lie. That's what they all say. I'm innocent. This is all very confusing. I just don't know. There's no proof. What about the feather? That's proof, isn't it? I don't know. I've never stolen a thing. You're not only a thief, you're a murderer. Now listen carefully. We mustn't make hasty judgments, eh? A bird is innocent until proven guilty. Woodpecker's right about that. What are you guys talking about? He's the corpus delicti. Yes, but no one saw it happen. It's impossible to prove who the culprit is. Why did you go to the rice field all alone? Because... I'll tell you why. Because there was an inconvenient eyewitness you had to eliminate. What? That's nonsense. Uh, the truth is she never tried to get away from us. We are the ones who left her all on her own. That's right. Fess up, pal. I'm innocent. That's enough. I should like us to turn our thoughts to our poor departed friend in this solemn moment. We'll catch the miscreant later. Huh? <laughs> now that I have them all convinced that the robin is the guilty party, I can raid the rice fields to my heart's content. <laughs> I'm almost embarrassed. <laughs> you know, the great thing about laying the blame on somebody else's doorstep is that you get to get away with murder. <laughs> They're disgusting. I can use the protein. <laughs> That's funny. I got the feeling I'm being watched. Yeah, that can't be it. Maybe I better fly around and eat some bugs. Just thinking being dead. Now I can unmask the true thief for you. Mm. Come on out, all of you. I'm alive and I need to talk to you. The most important thing is that Robin's innocent. The true rice thief is Chip, and he's also the one who tried to kill me. We gotta catch him now. I'm so glad you're alive and well, Guardian Frog. What must we do to catch the thief? Patrol the rice fields. Did you hear that? Off we go. Hello. Come on, Robin. Let's go. Have 
I spotted him yet. Hold on, there's something moving. There. Let's go! Hmm. Look at those worms down there! If I get my hands on him, there he is! Some yucky, slimy things gives me the willies. Hmm. Yeah, that's the good stuff. That's what I want. his evil to rice? No, he destroys corn as well. Well before the tender kernels have had a chance to ripen, he is there, dealing out death and annihilation. But the most dastardly of his crimes is that of trying to pass himself off as a decent bird such as ourselves. We who have always upheld our sacred duty and done our utmost to keep the rice fields clear of bugs. No, oh, he even goes so far as to kill ladybugs. Our friends and allies, uh, in view of these horrifying misdeeds, I ask each of you to examine his conscience and to find the defendant, this malevolent monster, guilty! <laughs> Have pity. Oh, please, please don't kill me. I only did it so I could eat. I can't stand worms and grubs and stuff. I'm a lacto-vegetarian. Not only that, but I'm an orphan. Oh, have pity on my lonely state, please. But all very well, but you did try to kill the guardian frog and throw the blame on Robin. I think I may safely say I speak for everyone. We have been shown ample evidence that the accused is guilty. Now we must find a fitting punishment for him. I propose lifelong banishment from our territories. How say ye all? Aye. 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 Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. I propose the sentence be carried out immediately. Before we release him, we should advise the other communities in the valley to be on the lookout for him and his ilk. I heartily endorse that astute recommendation and can think of no more fitting ambassador for this delicate mission than our friend and hero, Robin. Goodbye! See you soon! The Robin. How is
is the robin classified in the animal kingdom. The robin is a bird belonging to the order of Passeriformes, to the Turdidae family and to the Erythacus rubecula species. They're fairly small, with brown upperparts, a rusty face and breast, and a white belly. How many species are there, and where do they live? All robins belong to the Erythacus rubecula species. They nest almost all over Europe and in parts of Africa. They spend the winter in southern Europe, northern Africa, and in southeast Asia. How do they live? Robins usually live in pairs and have an extraordinary territorial instinct. Each pair marks out its own territory and will not allow other robins to cross the boundaries. How does it move? Robins hop, both on the ground and along the branches of trees. They fly quite well, but in shortish spurts of flight. What do they eat? They mainly eat insects, both larvae and adults, spiders, snails and slugs. In autumn they enjoy berries and fruit. How do they protect themselves? In spite of their delicate, fragile appearance, robins have a lively, aggressive nature, which is shown mainly in the battles between male birds during the mating season. How do they relate to people? Very well. Robins are among the birds best loved by people and are often caught and bred in captivity. Can they live in the city? Robins are often to be found in parks, especially those with wooded areas where the berries they're so fond of grow. Well, have you all learned a lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that if you're greedy and dishonest, you always get your just desserts. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>